good morning and welcome to another video so today is a doorstep walk in the truest sense of the word i've um, literally left home on foot um, and it's, it's about a mile down to the side of the trent at newark castle so it's an absolute mud fest on this first part of the bank and it's quite noisy getting out of town just with the main roads and approaching this part as well um, where the A1 and the A46 are intersecting but yeah it's a nice little route it's not too far from town but it's off the beaten track a little bit the only people that you kind of see along this stretch are anglers and, and dog walkers really so so yeah it should be good Clearly the uh, anglers around here don't have to adhere to the uh, leave no trace rule. So yeah, this looks like a barge that's um, got the town lock, lock gates on. There's a project at the moment um, to replace them. So that's further down, further down the Trent, um, literally in, in town. So yeah, this, this looks like uh, the barge that's taken the, the old gates away. So we'll just have a quick look. Amazing to see them like that, really. down off the um, main footpath just to get a little bit of shelter um, I'm not gonna lie I'm not loving this route to be honest um, I thought that maybe when we got out of the town um, that it, it might kind of I mean I know the route I've, I've cycled it but I, I kind of just thought that it might feel a little bit more open and enjoyable but it's wet so a lot of it's really quite muddy in places which makes just makes it tough going it's really windy so i'm walking directly into that and because i'm walking across the top of the flood bank there's just no shelter from the wind and to top it all off i've just come across a dead swan um, i've had a look at it just to see if it looked like it had been kind of shot or um, I, I don't know whether it's been caught by an animal it looks like somebody like a, an animal's had a go at kind of ripping it to pieces so i don't know whether it's just died um, there's so much litter that I think has probably been washed up with the um, river being really high. So whether it's eaten something and, and choked, uh, a good chance of that, and then animals have just got it. So that's pretty miserable. I'm nearly four miles in, had a quick look at my map and it doesn't look like there's another way back other than via the main road. Um, I don't really want to walk the main road because uh, it's tarmac and uh, it's just gonna be straight and boring. Um, although I'm not massively enamoured with the idea of just doing an out and back along the route that we've just come. So I think I probably will though, and at least the wind will be behind me. Um, so yeah, a bit of a disappointing one today really, but there you go, sometimes it's like that. a little wander around trying to find somewhere just to sit and uh, have a snack and just a little bit of respite from the wind and rain so I've just come past this really cute little church um, I'm just sitting in the foyer hopefully not disturbing anybody and uh, yeah just gonna have a few minutes and then probably just do an out and back go back the way I came don't fancy walking tarmac all the way home oh, it's so nice to be out of the wind <laughs> Look at this. Shout out to Davison's Bakery, Newark. This is a um, vegan friendly almond and cherry flapjack. I'm going to be loving this. Mm. 
Looks good. I'm glad I decided to uh, do an out and back in the end rather than going down the road. It's much more pleasant with the wind behind you. It's much less hard work. I don't know whether it's just having a little sit down for a few minutes, having a drink in that very simply flat track. Um, it's given me a little bit of a boost, morale boost, energy boost. Um, so yeah, we're just going to go back the, the way we came. Um, so there's probably not much point in filming anymore. There's not going to be anything new to see. Um, so that's it for this one. Catch you next time.